Hello gamers! Today we're putting two 1080p focused gaming GPUs head to head. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5060 and the Intel Arc B580. The RTX 5060 comes with 8GB of GDDR7 memory and launched at $300. On the other hand, the Arc B580 offers 12GB of GDDR6 VRAM and debuted at a lower $250 price point, making it an interesting value option right out of the gate. Spec-wise, the RTX 5060 is based on the GB206 GPU. It packs 3,840 CUDA cores, a boost clock of 2,497 MHz, and an 8GB GDDR7 memory configuration across a 128-bit interface. It also has a total graphics power of 145 watts. Meanwhile, the ARC B580 uses Intel's BMGG21 GPU with 2,560 cores, clocked at 2,670 MHz. It features 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM on a wider 192-bit memory bus, giving it more raw memory bandwidth than the RTX 5060. I'll be comparing both GPUs at 1080p and 1440p resolutions. For the 1080p benchmarks, you'll see the usual side-by-side -side gameplay footage. However, for 1440p and the overall average performance, I'll present the results using graphs instead. I originally planned to include side-by-side -side gameplay for both resolutions, but unfortunately, the 1440p footage I recorded for the ARC B580 was corrupted and lost. Here are the specifications of the test system used. Look at that! A castle. Let's go see! Yeah! All right then, <laughs> time to run. Hugo, you're gonna sweat like a hog. I am sweating like a hog. <laughs> it's good for you. <sighs> I like your new home. It's a castle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> into a beetle! Amicia, he's too powerful! We have to hide! <laughs> yes.
to next. For now, we we'll rest and regroup. There are far too few of us as it is, and the world must kill the only one to I heard they escaped their masters in the Imperial capital. I think we should split up and look. Claire, city of love. A copper, that is all I ask. Mm. 
when I was a little. At 1440p, however, the gap narrows. The RTX 5060 is only about 15% faster than the ARC B580. In this case, I'd actually lean toward the B580 for 1440p gaming, mainly because of its 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Some games benefit from the extra memory at higher resolutions, helping avoid stutters, pop-ins, or low-resolution textures. That said, even if the B580 had 16 gigabytes of VRAM, it still wouldn't outperform the RTX 5060. The 5060 simply has more raw processing power. On the flip side, the RTX 5060's 8 gigabytes of VRAM can become a bottleneck at 1440p. Had Nvidia gave it 12 gigabytes, it could have offered a noticeably smoother experience in some games, reducing the risk of stutters, texture issues, or VRAM-related slowdowns. To be honest, if I were gaming at 1440p, I wouldn't choose either of these GPUs. I'd go for something more powerful, like the RTX 5070, 5070 Ti, or AMD's RX 9070 XT. But for 1080p gaming, I'd pick the RTX 5060, even with its limited 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Why? I know the RTX 5060 is getting a lot of hate due to its limited VRAM, lack of generational performance gains, and the lukewarm reception from the review community hasn't helped its reputation either. Still, the Blackwell architecture offers features I find genuinely useful. These include support for NVIDIA's new transformer model, improved upscaling and frame generation, better video encoding, and access to NVIDIA broadcast and other software tools that come with RTX GPUs. On the other hand, if you don't need those extra features and want to save some money, the Intel Arc B580 isn't a bad option either. Just keep in mind that Intel's current GPU feature set isn't quite on the same level as what NVIDIA offers. So, which GPU would you pick for 1080p gaming? Would you go with Intel's Arc B580, NVIDIA's RTX 5060, or maybe even AMD's RX 9060 XT? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'll be back soon with more GPU comparisons. Stay tuned.